Hi, I'm Ellen Haran, President and CEO of the Greater Reading Chamber of Commerce and Industry, and I'm here for this week's Member Spotlight with Dan Rothermel from Green Giant Lawn and Tree Care. Welcome, Dan. Thank you. Good. So, how'd you get started in the business? We, uh, it's sort of interesting. I went to uh, college, I got a degree in landscape architecture from West Virginia, and at the time I was getting ready to graduate, my father was retiring from a position that he had for many years. And so in that period, he was looking for a business to buy. He wanted a second career. And he found Green Giant came up for sale shortly mm -hmm. after I graduated. They had a landscape division and thought, well, this could be a good fit. And so we bought the business and mm -hmm. been there ever since. Excellent. Yeah. So, um, is your father still in the business? He's not involved on a day-to-day -day okay. basis anymore. But yeah, your but he, wife helps out a bit in the business, She correct? does. She, so, she does some PR and some yeah. that sort of thing. Yeah, so like so many social of media. our, our uh, members, a uh, family-oriented business, which is quite common, you know, among our, right. our uh, chamber membership, which right. is great. So at some point along the line, you expanded. I see you have on your, your shirt the pest control. Right. Was that... Uh, something else became available or how did you decide it was time to we expand just, that? We just got to a point where the lawn and tree care, we've been doing it, we had really good systems in place, good people that can really run mm -hmm. it uh, very well, good managers, good, good guys out in the field doing the work and we thought well let's expand the business and the pest control made sense. We've got a lot of experience with the pesticides, we've mm -hmm. got a lot of experience with customer service, we have a lot of experience with a route business because you know, lawn care you're doing it okay, on a route yep. pest control you're mm -hmm. doing it on a route so there were a lot of similarities there's a lot of differences also though and uh, um, just a, another division to open and yeah, yeah excellent so how many employees do you have uh, during this season we'll have anywhere 23 to 25 employees over the okay. winter for the December and January and a little into February we'll be down to maybe 10 or 12. And what do you do in the winter then? Well the pest control goes through the winter Okay. and that, that's pretty steady through the winter. Uh, the lawn and tree care not much to right. bring in revenue and that's another thing that's nice about the pest control. Right. And the uh, uh, but we, we do a lot of work on the trucks obviously that sort of thing a lot of guys go on layoff and we also do some minor pruning we don't really advertise the pruning mm -hmm. it's just to keep some guys busy over the winter okay. we'll do that kind of work okay that makes sense so um, as a small business owner what are some of your your bigger challenges what are some of the things that keep you awake at night well there's there's a lot I mean sales you're always looking for more sales that's mm -hmm. always a you're just constantly, that's just something you're constantly chasing. Okay. Uh, you know, good customer service, making sure that you have the systems in place and the procedures are followed, that sort of thing. Uh, employees, you know, we're very fortunate. We have a really good group of employees mm -hmm. at Green Giant. And, but we're, as we expand, we're hiring more people and we're always trying to find somebody mm -hmm. that's going to be a good fit that's, uh, uh, you know, it's going to turn out to be a good employee. All right. Yeah. How about um, a lot of our uh, small business members say one of their biggest struggles, kind of along the lines of sales, is marketing. Trying to decide where and how much, how, how to set a marketing budget and kind of where to spend those dollars. How do you handle that? Yeah, we, we do the same thing. Right, right now, the mix that we have, we're really focused very heavily on the internet type of advertising mm -hmm. with our website, social media, SEO, mm -hmm. pay-per-click, all those sorts of things. Um, we do billboards. We, uh, we have a very, very small presence in yellow pages, getting smaller all mm -hmm. the time. Yeah. Uh, but then we a lot of smaller things also. Mm -hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. And then are you good at measuring where your results come from? Yeah, we track okay. everything that we can, absolutely. And one thing about the company that does all our website work mm -hmm. is they're all analytics. They're measuring everything constantly, and that's a whole lot nicer than Yellow Pages, where you can yeah. see day by day, week by week, and month by month where you're getting results and where you're not. Right. Yeah. Now, are there some resources that you were able to reach out to as you started and are and were building your business um, that would be a, a good tip for fellow chamber members? Well, there were we actually were involved with the chamber in mm -hmm. some ways from a technical standpoint. More of the state trade organizations and the national mm -hmm. organizations were were very helpful. Okay. Uh, the Cooperative Extension at Penn State was we got a lot of help mm -hmm. from them and okay. that's worth it. Yeah, very they were good. great. Good. Yeah. So are there some natural next steps for your business? 
Uh, at this point, we want to you know, continue growing the, the pest control. That's considerably smaller than the lawn, lawn and tree care division, but it's, it's growing very rapidly. It's going really well. We should be doubling our rev revenue this year over last. Oh, great. And uh, hopefully we'll continue to do that. Mm -hmm. And uh, we also have a vegetation management division, which is uh, the smallest part of the business, but we do ro all kinds of things. You do roadside vegetation management. Okay. We'll do... Uh, you know, parking lots that you know, gravel parking lots that have gra uh, grass or weeds growing in them, cracking crevices in parking lots. Uh, we'll go into woodland areas and selectively uh, get rid of invasive plant species and noxious weeds to, that are crowding out the native plants. So there's okay. a pretty broad range of uh, different types of places that you do the work and mm -hmm. that you do people you do the work for. But that, that's something that we've been doing more and more of, okay. sort of growing without really putting a whole lot of effort into the growth mm -hmm. aspect kind of Kind of a it. natural growth. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that makes sense. Yeah. Well, good. Is there, um, since we're heading into the, the winter season here, are there any tips you want to give uh, people with their homeowner hat on of uh, any pruning or lawn care that they should be focused on before the winter okay. settles in? Yeah, well, with the lawn, make sure you clean up your leaves. Don't leave them on the grass all winter long. Do that last mowing. I mowed last weekend. Hopefully okay. that's the last one. You don't want the grass really long. Uh, from a pest control standpoint, make sure things are sealed up uh, in your house. If you have any cracks that are open, seal them so mice can't get in. That's going to be, be your big issue. Any, okay. any place that you can seal off any openings. It would be very helpful just to exclude the mice before they get in. Very good. Well, thank you very much for being here and for uh, sharing your story, and thank you for being a member of the chamber. Thank you. Good.